Hey you guys, it's me Linwood and today I am going to show you how to do the drape knot. So stay tuned and thumbs up if you like it. If you haven't seen my last video, you can do so by clicking right here or you can click on the eye in the top right corner just above. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this baby down and then we will get started. All right, you guys, so this is my right side, this is my left side, and my blade, which is a large end, is on my right. My tail, which is a uh, small end, is on my left, and the image should have been flipped for your viewing pleasure. I forgot to flip it last week. So for everyone who watched and brought it to my attention, thank you guys so much for not only being avid watchers, but also for giving me a heads up on how I can improve and the different things that I missed. I greatly appreciate it. So I'm gonna start off by creating my power crease here and pulling it directly to the center. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tail end of the tie right on over that middle portion. I'm going to go ahead and wrap around the back and up through the center from the back. And now I'm going to bring that tail back down over to my left side, wrapping around the back like so. So now I've created a triangle just like this. Again, it was coming up through the center, down across the left side, and it wraps around the back to create this triangle. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap it across the front, like so. And that just helps to create some smoothness here in the knot. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down. Now this side, this part can get a little confusing, and I will say it does make a difference which side you bring it to. So if you're coming from the left, stick with the left. Um, don't want to flip to the right or the whole knot will be messed up. So you're going to take it, create that L shape that we've been doing lately, and then wrap around the back. And once I get over here, I'm going to wrap across, create my L shape going up, and wrap again, like so. Now it just went up, down through the center. I don't want to just leave it hanging here, so I'm going to go ahead and slide right on through this loop and insert the tail end straight down that loop there, pulling it pretty nice and snug, just like so. And from there, I can go in and adjust, and I can make it as airy or as structured looking as I would like, as you can see. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull my collar down. And there you have it. It's pretty simple, but I love the visual impact of it. It gives you a feel like the Saturn knot, which if you haven't seen my Saturn knot, be sure to click on the eye up here. Um, but it gives you that feel, but it also gives you something extra. And as one of my subscribers, Mark, uh, stated, it looks like drapes, how it falls off to the side. And so that's actually where it got its name from. So thank you so much for suggesting the name. Um, and you can see here's a side profile and the other side. So, of course, as always, let me know what you think in the comment box below, uh, what other type of content you would like to see, of course, I always appreciate that. And, um, you know, if you'd like it, go ahead and click like down there. Uh, if you love these videos, subscribe so you can get my regular updates of them and know that I appreciate you watching these on a regular basis. You mean the world to me. Thank you so much and God bless. And of course, until next time, you're fancy now. Bye-bye.